Hello everyone, I'm Matteo Biscossi and today I'm going to talk about uh, NTOPNG Network Monitoring and Discovery. So, uh, I start with a brief introduction to what is NTOPNG and how NTOPNG unify active and passive monitoring. Uh, after that, I talk about how NTOPNG enhance active monitoring thanks to the active discovery and I uh, and the presentation with a brief demo on NTOPNG. So, first of all, who am I? I am Matteo Biscosi, like I said before, and I graduated from the University of Pisa last year, in 2020, and currently I'm working at NTOP as a software engineer. Let's start. So, what is NTOPNG? And TopNG is a monitoring tool, mainly a passive monitoring tool, uh, that can both uh, analyze packets and flows. It has uh, a particular characteristic uh, as a monitoring tool because NTOPNG is based on the DPI traffic analysis technique. DPI stands for uh, Deep Packet Inspection and the Deep Packet Inspection is a traffic analysis technique uh, that, go, that is based on the principle to go to analyze the packets until the level 7 of uh, ISOSI model, so to the application level, and in this way we can understand a lot more information about uh, packets, flows, and so on. For example, we can understand uh, if you are talking about uh, um, a YouTube traffic uh, or uh, if you are talking about uh, Spotify traffic and so on. Obviously, uh, we cannot uh, extract all the information from the packets uh, because uh, some of them are encrypted, uh, so we can get just uh, some information on it. So, NTOPNG um, doesn't stand alone, it can stand alone itself, but uh, it can even communicate with other programs, software, uh, for example, it can talk with Suricata, Syslog, SMP and get information from them and, uh, and OpenG can even uh, export those information to external services like Discord, Logstash, um, Surica, uh, Telegram and so on. So, and TopNG has other features, for example, uh, it is embedded with an high capacity flow database. Uh, like I said before, uh, it can export uh, uh, data to external services and it can gather information from external services. And uh, now let's talk about uh, active and passive monitoring of NTOPNG. So, Active monitoring has been around for a long, long time, like uh, we all know. And uh, the problem, I think, is that people usually think of active monitoring just uh, as uh, doing ping and service check. But uh, active monitoring shows um, its uh, strong points if we add it to the passive monitoring. Why this? Because passive monitoring has a limit, and this limit it is that uh, its scope is limited to the traffic that we can observe. For example, we cannot understand if a service isn't working properly with the passive monitoring. This is, in fact, the work of the active monitoring. In this way, an OpenG goes to um, use the active monitoring to cover the blind spot of the passive monitoring. 
So, end-of-PNG monitoring uh, feature set is based on the active one and the passive one. The, the passive one captures the traffic and report the statistics, and uh, thanks to the passive one, we can understand uh, some services uh, from the traffic. For example, we can understand uh, if uh, an host is playing music, just checking from uh, its traffic, or in a specific case, from its Spotify traffic or YouTube traffic. And uh, at the same time, the other monitoring set is the active one. So, and OpenG complements the passive monitoring by, an, uh, by giving, by analyzing the blind spots of the passive one. In this way, and OpenG provides a rich network view that uh, could not uh, be obtained just, just from uh, one of them. Now, EntopNG uh, does uh, a total of five types of active monitoring. We have the continuous ECMP, the HTTP and the HTTPS, the ECMP, speed test, and throughput. Now, uh, we do both ECMP and continuous CSCMP. Why this? The reason is simple, because uh, continuous ECMP can understand if a service goes down um, for a little brief of time. Uh, this thing usually isn't noticeable if we use ECMP alone. So we have uh, the speed test to understand uh, the speed of the network and the throughput to understand uh, if the network is overloaded um, or it has some problem. Now, another feature of uh, TopNG is that it can monitor even other infrastructures. Just think of this example. We have uh, a network with uh, different EntopNG instances. This feature goes to resolve this problem because uh, in this way, an EntopNG instance can monitor different EntopNG instances. In this way, we can understand if uh, that specific network is reachable uh, using the HTTP active monitoring and uh, how the network is doing. For example, we can understand if uh, it is overloaded and so on through the throughput active monitoring. So, thanks to the passive plus active monitoring, we can uh, uh, extend the active monitoring with heuristic discover host, host types, and software as a service, and so on. And uh, uh, we can have a measured view of the network. But uh, here we have a problem. The problem is simple that uh, the simple active monitoring cannot understand, uh, cannot find the hidden networks. And this problem is resolved by the active discovery. The active discovery uh, used is that is uh, the one to discover all the devices inside the network, even the silent one, and collect different information on them. For example, through the active discovery, we can understand uh, the device type, the operative system, and the manufacturer of a device. And TopNG do this um, thanks to, di to using different protocols. For example, we use ARP to understand, to discover all the devices inside the network, and we use M MDNS to understand the services offered by the uh, after that, we can use, even use SNP to find, for example, the physical location of a device inside network. 
and uh, we use other types of info. For example, uh, we use the MAC address to understand uh, the device type or the operative system in, in some cases, and so on. So, in this way, we provide a qualitative information about the network and uh, host and so on, and not only basic up and down, but, but uh, we even provide time series analysis of round three times, and uh, whenever you know, a threshold is crossed, we send an alert, we trigger an alert. In this way, a user can understand if there is some problem inside the network. Uh, now, NTOPNG can, um, can benefit, other tools, other open sources tools, can benefit from NTOPNG's assets and um, its uh, knowledge is and gathering information and so on. For example, we have the Isinga and the Czech MK open sources tools. So now let's see a brief demo on NTOPNG and how it practically works. All right. Let's go. This is the main dashboard of NTOPNG. Now, let's see the first the network discovery of NTOPNG. And after that, we, see, we take a look at the active discovery. So, let's discover all the hidden hosts and loss inside my network. Here, we are doing, uh, like I said before, for example, the ARP traffic, the MDNS, and so on. For example, here we discover the ghost network. And OpenG, like I said before, offer the device type, and we can understand it uh, analyzing the MAC address and uh, the name of the host, the manufacturer, in this case it, it cannot understand the manufacturer, and other information. Now let's see instead the, the active monitoring. So, for example, let's add a new active monitoring. Let's add uh, an active monitoring to, for example, the gateway router should be this one. And uh, in the meantime, let's see, for example, a, a chart of another active monitoring I was doing. And uh, as we can see from the screen, we have different types of chart. Uh, and uh, we can see some different information, for, the, for example, the average the 95th percentile. Let's see, for example, 30 minutes. So we can have uh, a view of the, the active monitoring. Now let's return to the And as you can see, 
from this one. And TopNG did a check and uh, this, is, this is red, so the measurement didn't go well. As we can see, it crossed the threshold. All right, so this is a brief demo on uh, NTOPNG uh, active monitoring and uh, network discovery, active discovery in case of NTOPNG. So thanks everyone and see you next time.